Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today we're having another one of these tip videos. You guys seem to really enjoy these, so I'm going to keep doing them as long as this game doesn't kill me. So, <laughs> this, um, yeah, this one's kind of more annoying than the one we did yesterday. So, as you can see, I'm still missing one, but it's literally just play the games. So, I just want to get this video out as quickly as possible to you guys if you guys are struggling, because believe me, this one is a bit of a doozy. So, you have to win 15 games, score 15 goals, with at least 7 of the cards being championship players, uh, assist 15 goals, and win 10 games. Now, I don't know who at EA thought it was a good idea to release this, when at the moment the other managerial masterpiece requires teams that are Premier League related. So everyone's using their ultra sweaty Prem teams, while you're running up with championship players. So, I don't know who at EA decided that was a good idea, but it really was not a good idea. So, screw you for that, EA. Um, but yeah, we finally did get it done. Uh, so you get Squad Foundation's DAC, you get... Uh, so, that Foundation's DAC actually made this a whole lot easier. So, we'll discuss a timeline on how to get these done. Uh, the play 15 matches you get Sinclair. I mean, if you get, if you get the wins before the matches, obviously it's not really that big of a deal. Um, but most of the time you if you score within the first five to ten minutes people do tend to leave I think that's how I got like five or six of my wins So just keep that in mind Obviously this Sinclair isn't you might not get him by the time that you finish the rest of them So just keep that in mind. All right, so now a quick timeline uh, How to get these get this DAC card score as many goals as you can concede as many goals as you know your heart desires Just try and get this DAC card and I will of course show both my teams that I used uh, in both of these and I'll show you guys how to actually line up your team to make this a little less a little less annoying. So, all right. So, let's just get into the team first of all because I'm sure you guys are dying to see what the team is. So, it is quite disgusting. Um, <laughs> so, I will say get the, get Foster. Get Foster. He's gone up in price a little bit. I bought him for 1,300 coins. Just because he's English, he can very easily link into your uh, English center backs. Because I do recommend that you have uh, at least two English center backs from the Premier League. Just because it'll make linking the rest of the team a whole lot easier just having English players. Foster does count towards these, of course, does count towards these seven uh, championship players that you need. So, and of course, goalkeepers this year are, are trash anyway, so... You're not really losing a spot uh, for the rest of your team. What I did have is I had generally uh, four. So I had the three defenders and then I had a Premier League goalkeeper. But it wasn't really working out for me too well. I just kept conceding. Not not conceding. I wasn't scoring. That was the big issue. So what I did, I chucked Foster in and I put uh, Lucas up front. And of course, you, you saw and... Yeah, if you can't, this is literally, if you can't beat them, join them. Like, it, I didn't want to do it, but I was coming up against Adama Traore, Dan James, just uh, every, all of them. And of course, Dan James is on the bench. Because, you know, you just, if you can't beat them, join them. That's literally what this is a case of. And of course, we do have Ben, ben Rama with a Hunter card on him. Because, you know, anything to make this any more easier is definitely helpful. So Tomori, basically one of the most overpowered, cheap uh, center backs in the Prem. Joe Gomez, if you have Gomez, I'd recommend using him just because he is absolutely incredible. But also, he is very expensive at the moment. Uh, Wambasaka is probably one of your best, better cards that you can get just because he's only 83 rated and he is quite cheap. Uh, so if you don't have Joe Gomez, you could probably get Kurt Zuma. Or if you can fit him in, Nathan Ake. But you might have a little more trouble fitting him in, not gonna lie. Now, when, now the team did shift once I unlocked Dak. So the team shifted and moved Cook over for Sissoko. And it's, oh, and you don't have Sissoko, because obviously he might be a bit expensive at the moment. You could just use Endomele. Like, he, he's not obviously the same player, but he's, you know, he's not a bad substitute. And then for Sissoko, we put Dak in. Now, Dak was unbelievable. It's a shame your friendlies don't count uh, in the current stats. But he unlocked this team with a Hunter card. He was absolutely incredible. Very, very underrated card, not gonna lie. Like, 4-star Weeper, 4-star skills. His stats look really good. Like, look at that dribbling. His stamina's a little lacking, but apart from that, absolutely incredible, incredible card. So yeah, you want to get your 15 goals as soon as possible to unlock this card. Once you unlock this card, it'll make this a whole lot easier. 
And of course, I do have Lucas as well, because he is one of my favorite wingers in the game. Like, if you're just looking at my stats, you know, he, he, he scores. He scores goals, which is what I need him to do with the four-star weak foot as well. Makes him incredible. And of course, your bench, you mainly want 75 rated cards and then 65 rated silvers. Now, if you can fit Dan James in your team, at least try and get him on the bench, because... I, it's literally a if you can't beat them join them like if you can get a Dharma Traor on your bench as well I recommend you do that. It's just Unfortunately, they the amount of times I came up against Traore is quite disgusting. I even come up against R9, which was kind of Weird because the rest of his team looked terrible But anyway, but yeah guys, I will say with this one Don't just try not to get too tilted with this one because I got very very tilted doing this one Got very, very cursy, very, very angry because you're coming up against sweaty Premier League teams. Like, I think I came up against one championship team. The majority of them were Premier League ultra sweaty Adama, Dan James, Rashford, Martial. Just sweaty players everywhere. So, if you do concede a goal, just quit. Like, it's not really worth your time unless you're wanting to just get the games out of the way to maybe get that Sinclair. But. If you do concede, don't take it to heart. Just quit. Get Go with a fresh mind into your next game. A clear mind playing FIFA is always the best one. Yeah, you get that, you know, the standard BS you get while playing FIFA. I think with this one, it was definitely the more triggering of them all. Even the one yesterday where I was coming up against other Premier League sweaty teams, you have your own Prem sweaty team. This one you're using literal championship cards. And they're, they're not great. They're really not great. Obviously, you have your odd few like Saar. But apart from that, they're not really that great, unfortunately. So you're using these championship cards against just the sweatiest cards in the game. So again, guys, try not to take it too hard if you do concede. Just go in with a fresh mind into the next game and you'll get your wins a whole lot easier and a lot more, you know, chill level headed about it. So if we're getting into the attack if you guys watched the video yesterday, if you guys enjoyed the video and find it a little helpful, please drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for brand new around here. You, you will get your uh, tips and tricks for these objectives when I do them, so, which is usually the same day. It all just depends what EA do. So fast build up, the width, it's going from my main team to this, oh my, the, some of these players I swear have not touched a football in my life. Even Saw, the amount of, the amount of just misses he, he did. Just made me want to quick sell him, not gonna lie. But yeah, balance, width, and depth, because I do have fast players, so I want to win the ball high up on the pitch and then uh, issue a counter-attack, just to get, just to see if I can get a quick goal, get a quick uh, rage quit, just get one of those wins done as quickly as possible. Fast build-up, I do like re playing very, very fast. I have fast, pacey players. Uh, just, that's just how I like to play. I like, you know, tiki-taka, even though some of these players literally can't even do a one-two pass. I do like to do the tiki-taka. Uh, players in box evidence six. I'm not really too sure why. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not too. Uh, with this, you can literally say how you want. Uh, formations again. It's the four three two one, and in the instructions, your strikers uh, stay central and get in behind, and then the wingers are on getting behind as well. Uh, the left sided one, you can really set these to how you want. Um, I like my uh, main center one to be the actual CDM defending more type. The right one being the more box to box, and the left one being your more attacking player. So I'm gonna get forward and get into the box. I have them all on cover center. I have the box to box one, stay on the edge of the box, then balance. I would kind maybe recommend putting them on stay back while attack. It all just depends how confident you are at attacking and defending. If you're not great at defending, I recommend putting them on stay back while attacking. And of course your uh, main CDM, I have them on drop between defenders just cause I, I like having three center backs. How this team works, if you guys don't know, these fullbacks absolutely push forward. I just realized these aren't on overlap. I've, I've done this entire thing without them being on overlap, which is make, which hurts me. So how this team works is the fullbacks push forward, uh, the three attackers push forward, and then your cam slash center mid pushes forward. This guy slots between the defense, and Lewis Cook sort of roams around. Depending on how good the attack is, he will put, come forward a little bit. But if, he, if you're kind of attacking in the halfway from the halfway line to their attack or to their box he'll sort of just chill around that area but if you're in their box he will sometimes make a run into the box um stay back while attacking on center bit on center center backs and the, the fullbacks are on overlap because i just that's just how i play i attack with fullbacks if i don't have fullbacks attacking i can't play this game properly i'm not gonna lie um so that's it for the tactics so again guys quick roadmap if you guys want to just quickly 
quick tip on how to get this done get your goals get Dak as soon as possible slot him into your team and then just try try and just have your main defense if you have a premier league team to be your defense so i normally have varan here i have to kind of use tamori um and try and get foster because if you do have english center backs he'll make this a whole lot easier just because he does count towards your championship players so guys that's it for these quick tip video on how to get the new um dak sinclair and i can't even remember the other card well done josh but uh yeah if you guys have found this video helpful if you could drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel brand new around here it would help me out and a ton and if you guys have any comments or queries or questions post them down in the comments i will definitely get back to you as soon as i can see you guys later take care love you all and peace